Hey guys, welcome to my brand new series called Weird Eatery, where we travel all over the world and eat at the weirdest restaurants we could find. This one is a greenhouse. Let's go try it out. absolute coolest vibe okay so if they have this set up I think for social distancing out here but it's so cool because we're literally in a greenhouse but let's check out the menu and let's see if the food matches the ambiance <laughs> Guys, this is so awesome. If you are not even familiar with what a greenhouse is, basically you grow plants inside of these glass houses and it, it protects from cold weather so that these plants can actually grow. So it kind of makes you feel like a flower in a way. And if you look around, they have this all decorated with flowers. We got birds chirping. I'm actually liking the vibe so far. And I don't think this has always been here like this. No, I feel like I think it's for social distancing. It's a genius idea for social distancing. It makes you feel like you're in a private environment when really there's people out here, but you feel very just like in your own little room. It's pretty awesome. Hello. So, wh what do you suggest? What is like the most popular thing here? Do you want breakfast or lunch? Um, let me hear a little bit of both because we're gonna order a couple things. The breakfast, the the pancakes. Oh, the pancakes. Really? Okay. The pork benedict is one of my favorite. Those are the top breakfast. For me. Yeah. For you. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then, then the French toast is really good. Yeah, I like <laughs> so everything. I'm like, I'm like, dang, I gotta get. Oh, let me just. Order. <laughs> I'm asking for my for my my viewers. How is the vegan food? Because I know you guys have vegan options. You know what? I'm not vegan, and yes. I yesterday I had the vegan bowl. It's amazing. Really. The vegan salad is really good. The vegan sandwich is also surprisingly really good. Oh. Either that or I was really hungry. That day. <laughs> That's good to know for anyone who's vegan out there. Look, you got options. Okay, cool. I think we're gonna start okay. with that. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. They do have a, a decent sized menu, you know? I like how they did come out with breakfast and lunch. They're not like McDonald's where they stop selling breakfast at 10 a.m. because I can't deal with that, you know? I, I like my food, you know? I like my breakfast midday. So, we got a lot of food coming. We gotta really get our stomachs ready because we are about to indulge. This is some weird eatery. It has a bunch of cool little wallpaper. Look at it, it has a view. Most restaurants don't have a view. Oh, I was about to say, I thought someone was about to be watching you from there. We got a cool non-water urinal, my favorite. We got a nice little toilet. We got the movable toilet paper, so you don't have to like reach over, it's just there. It's nothing to clean, it's nice. I mean, it's COVID, so there's not much more for a bathroom. All right, I'm gonna go use the restroom, and then we'll be back. So one thing about this restaurant is that you can't get alcohol until after 4 p.m. It might be because it's during the week. I'm not quite sure. All I do know is that they pulled a little string for me so I could have a beer. All right, guys, so the food looks absolutely insane. Like, it came out pretty quick. They, they know what they're doing here because I am so excited to try this for some reason. I've never had anything like it, and uh, I'm ready. I think we should start with the pancakes, though, because they already have syrup on it. We don't want it to get soggy. So this looks insane. It, what, what was it? Poppy seeds? Lemon poppy seeds. Okay, so it might sweet be a little crab. citrusy. So it looks like there's like some type of sweet cream. There's blueberries, there's blueberry jam, there's powdered sugar. This isn't like typical pancake. Yeah, this this is gonna give IHOP a run for their money. I have never seen IHOP ever serve anything yeah. like this, so this is extreme. Oh wow, you're really going at it, huh? Yeah, you better hurry up. I'm trying, man. Alright. Oh. Wow. Wow. I need another one to really fully give my opinion. What the heck do they do to this pancake? I don't know. I don't really taste much lemony mm -hmm. flavor in it. It almost tastes more like an original pancake with like blueberries on it. I've never tasted anything this good like at an IHOP or anything. <laughs> Alright, so right here we got the chicken panini. I am a chicken panini fanatic. Yeah, I love the pesto stuff. Mm. Here we go. Oh, wow. Look at that. So there's cheese, tomato, chicken breast. Pesto sauce and then the bread, the bread, right? Yeah. Yeah. As you know, guys, we're lactose intolerant. Oh wow! But that, there's no other way you could eat this. You know what I mean? Like this is one I'm gonna come back and finish. Really got some some powerful mm. punches of flavor. Every time I bite into it, the pesto is amazing. Fresh mozzarella cheese inside. And honestly, I never thought I would say the day, but I kind of like cheese it's right good. now. <laughs> so I'm gonna say it. This is like one of those type of restaurants where. 
you can eat a bunch of food and since that since it's so like pretty and stuff you feel like you're not eating bad food yeah i feel like i feel great <laughs> we just ate half this pancake and i feel like it's a vegan pancake for some reason yeah we're, we feel like we're being so healthy yeah we feel like we're being it's all natural it feels like because you're in a natural environment with nature it feels it feels good like i feel yeah. like I'm, I'm not gonna gain a pound eating all this no way <laughs> we're all familiar with eggs benedict right yeah but have you ever had salmon Benedict. Mm. I've never had that. And Is this like lox or it's salmon? It's smoked salmon. So like lox, yeah. Yeah, smoked salmon, and we're on like an English muffin type of uh, piece of bread down here. And then there's something special about these potatoes, right? She hyped them up a lot. She said that they're her favorite thing here, so don't sneeze in my damn food. Oh, I must just sneeze in the food. Jones, enough talking. We've seen it. We, we know it's beautiful. Let's bite it. Oh, my God. Mm. Look, I, I would have never in my days paired salmon with eggs, you know? Oh, it's but, a combo. Is it? I've mm -hmm. never had that. I've never even seen that anywhere. And the thing about this salmon, flox, I'm not too like familiar with it, but it's salted. Yes, I was gonna say. You have the egg on your nose. <laughs> so it's salted, so it, it gives it like more of that, more flavor. Yeah, you know? it got a lot of, I bit into it and I tasted the saltiness of it, but it, it, it wasn't like a bad saltiness. It wasn't like too much. It was the right amount. Yeah, and these eggs are like perfectly poached. Wow, I'm in awe. It, I am so in shock because when you walk into this place, you wouldn't expect the food to be this good. Everything we've eaten so far, I haven't had a bad thing to say about it. I'm not even just fronting. This is not a brand deal. This is not a sponsored post. This is absolutely delicious. And right outside, isn't it a bunch of like residential houses? Yeah, it was so <laughs> strange. On our way here, we had to drive through the hills, almost like the Hollywood Hills. We were driving through them and we we're like, there cannot be a restaurant up here. And then right when you get out, boom, it's here. For my Latinos out there, all of us Latinos have had homemade chorizo at one point. If not, you're, you're messed up, right? Yeah, for sure. This is like something I've never seen. I've never seen a combination of chorizo and potatoes. And potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. Those are nuts. That is insane. I feel like Lay's Potato Chips can market this and put it in a chip bag. Chorizo. Holy crap. They should make like french fry versions of this and like have an option. You know how they have like sweet potato fries and mm. then they have regular fries? They should have a chorizo fries. Mm. And that should be something that's everywhere because what the heck? And they're like overcooked a little bit so they're crunchy. Yeah. And the thing is that I love here is that we kind of went off of recommendations and everything she recommended has been a hit so far. Mm. We decided to move the camera because this is my better side and I really wanted to showcase my better side for this spicy pulled pork sandwich, okay? This is the, one of the items that was highlighted on the yes. menu, so it must be the heavy hitter. It might be their like absolute best meal here. We cut it open so we could see the inside. As you can see, it is, look at that pulled pork, look at that. And it's got some Dijon mustard. I've never paired pork with Dijon mustard before, so that's gonna be a different taste I think for that's sure. what might give it the kick. Yeah, so uh, grab your half. And let's give it our first initial taste test. I think this might be like their house item, like their main go-to item. That's why it's boxed. Same with the pancakes. That was their and house that was a, breakfast. That was amazing. And that was a hit. So I can only imagine this one. And let's see what else we got inside. Looks like, is that pickles? It might be, yeah. I think we got a pickle in here too. Okay. It's a score. I got a pickle. <laughs> here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. The Dijon mustard hits after. A heat level spice. Yeah. It's like more of a flavor. If you know it's, flavor, it's just a flavor oh, enhancer, if anything. I almost feel like, like what happens if we put some of this on? We're there? definitely going to. Oh, wow. That's made it 100 times better. Oh, yeah, that's the move. I'm not a huge pork guy. Like, I don't eat pork all the time. I'm usually a guy that goes for the chicken always. But this is something I can see myself ordering again. Because it just, it's... It's distinctive, that's the thing. Like out of everything we everything we ate was very distinctive in a way. Like nothing tasted the same, nothing reminded me of the other oh, thing. I feel like most restaurants are like flavors kind of stay the, the same. The flavors stay the same because they're using the same kind of spices and stuff. Everything that we've eaten has been so different from the next. Yeah, I think the only thing that all these foods have had in common besides the pancake is like the arugula. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing that's the same. And everything we just ate right now, which one's your favorite? Which one would you go back to? Or which one would you suggest to other people? Oh. It depends if we're talking breakfast or not, but I really like this. This pulled pork sandwich was really was good. so good. And then I really like the panini one too, but yeah. that was like more of like a mellow. It was more like mellow. A, it's like you you want to play it safe, you go for that. Because yeah. it, it, it was a good easy, sandwich. Just safe option. Exactly. We got a lot of food to finish, and then we might even check out the dessert. Oh, that's new. Yeah, we've never really done that, so we'll check back when the dessert comes. Churro negro. Oh my god. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much. much. So what we got here is the churro 
I don't want to say the next word just in case they try to cancel me, so I'm not going to say it, but you guys heard him say it, the guy, so that's that. Let's try this thing, okay? So basically, he said it was like a, he said like a churro wrapped in chocolate with ice cream on top, and you could see all the powdered sugar around it. It looks good. Let's try it. <laughs> I breathe in the sugar. <clears throat> oh my. What the hell is up with this place, yo? This is too good, man. <laughs> I literally right before this came I was saying I'm so full I can't put anything else in my belly but I guarantee you I'm gonna finish this because this is way too good look at this watch this oh my god but I'm almost getting like a taste of banana are you yeah me too I don't know where I, I feel like there's like a banana flavor in there I don't know what it is because I don't see any banana but I do see the Nutella is very like chunky so could be. Like if we were to give it a review, I know this isn't guess the rating or create yeah. the rating, but I we don't I, even know the rating. I don't. We don't know how how their ratings are, but I think I would honestly give this place a five star. Like that's that's like I'm saying a lot too. I would just give them five star and say service was great, food is great, manager is really nice. It's a win-win. The ambiance is great. Yeah, I would love to see this place at nighttime. Yeah, that would be definitely a sight to see. I feel like they... I, I don't see a lot of lights here. There's some twinkles. Oh, it's probably like very dark. Yeah. You know, just like romantic date Damn, spots. Damn, this would be a very good date spot. No matter what time of day. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. This is very cute. It's an Echo Park. Address is right here if you want to swing by. Hey, surprise your boyfriend or girlfriend with this place. I guarantee you, you're going to get a surprise later if you take them here. The hell is that? I don't know. Gok Gok 3000? <laughs> so that wraps up this video. I hope you guys like this new series that I'm starting. If you do, let me know in the comments below. They actually comped our meal. We didn't want them to. We insisted on paying. They just wouldn't allow us to. They said that you're making a video, we're giving you free food. So if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, pick up some merch, brendantaylor.com. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Look at this cute dog. Look at the cute puppy. <laughs>